fellow tennis nerds and welcome to this Wilson Pro Staff 97 version 13 review. This review deals with both the Pro Staff 97 and the RF 97 autograph. I received the two new Pro Staffs a while ago. I know a lot of you have been looking forward to this review. I will start by telling you two key things here. Uh, the RF 97 is exactly the same racket, just a different cosmetic. Uh, so it's the same as the previous version, they stayed with that because Roger uses this and uh, that's what they, they want to put out there. The Pro Staff 97 version 13, that one has a different layup and a tighter string pattern. I think that that's a subtle change, very significant improvement in my opinion over the all black non countervail version that I reviewed recently on the channel and the Pro Staff 97 countervail version. So I think this racket is definitely an improvement and I will tell you why. Uh, but first let's talk about the cosmetics. This is a kind of nod towards the heritage Pro Staff 85, the one with the pinstripes, the red and yellow pinstripes. I think that is a great design, a great look. As you might know, I'm a big fan of classic rackets and I think that nodding towards the heritage is the right way to do it. And I'm not sure whether they did it enough. I think it's a little bit understated, this design. I do like the exposed carbon at 12 o'clock. That's a pretty nice um, idea, but I think it could have been more reminiscent of the original where you had the pinstripes going all around the frame. And not sure it would have looked great, to be honest. I'm not a designer, but uh, I would have seen a little bit more uh, design change uh, over the all black version that I tried. Now it's it's mainly a black racket, blacked out. That really sells rackets. It's a design that a lot of players like, but it can be a little bit boring. You want to see a bit more of a change sometimes. Although the pro staff, yes, it should have uh, should be black. That's the way the original looks, and that looks great. But I think they could have done a little bit more uh, with the design. That's just my personal opinion. When it comes to the RF-97, it has exactly the same design. But it's instead of the yellow and the red lines, they are gray and white. So um, quite subtle changes. Uh, I think Roger will be happy that he doesn't have to use that white on the sides that he used for Wimbledon in 2019. And he didn't really like it. So um, maybe due to Roger, they wanted to keep it all black. Uh, he likes that design. Not sure, but um, it does look nice, but I could have been a bit more um, a nod towards the old school pro staff design. So uh, matte color, matte black, I would have liked to see it shiny like the pro stocks, but uh, I guess I would have to wait for that one. Uh, so not a bad design, a nice update, but perhaps a little bit uh, not enough. That's my opinion. When it comes to the specs and the tech, uh, the tech is unchanged for the Pro Staff RF97 autograph. When it comes to the Pro Staff 97 version 13, there are some important improvements, small but important. There's no dampening material in this one. I like that. I like that it didn't try to put a, a feel flex or any kind of technology from the blade or the clash to make this more of a noodle. Uh, they kept that um, you know heritage feel that it's stiff or crisp, uh, that matter how you would call it, but not uncomfortable. Um, there is a new Braid 45 construction that increases precision by adjusting the angle of the double braided fibers for enhanced feel and stability. So Braid 45 construction, that's new. I really think that that improves the feel. I felt more connected to this racket and I did feel a better comfort with this racket than the previous version. It also has a denser string bed. They call it improved string mapping. I think that improves control. I felt a lot more in tune with the Pro Staff 97 this time around. I always felt that that string bed on the lighter Pro Staff had a bit of an erratic string bed, and this one seems to be improved. I felt a lot better uh, control. I, I get a lot better control from this racket than I did with the previous version. And also uh, no aches and pains despite playing it with a full bed of polyester. So this is a significant improvement in my opinion and it's it's a very good one. Uh, it, they did it, did it just right to keep that Pro Staff feel but improve it, improve the comfort and improve the feel. So um, that uh, I think was, was great. Uh, so I strung this up, the Pro Staff 97 with Luxlon Olive Power Rough, 1.30 gauge at 53 pounds or 24 kilos. Hit the courts. Uh, the specs of my racket, uh, obviously 97 square inches, that's unchanged, 1619 string pattern, 21.5 millimeter beam throughout, 
uh, with strings, my racket weighed 331 grams, 32 centimeter balance, so around 7 points head light, and a 329.5 swing weight. And I, my sweet spot in swing weight is around 330, so I was very happy when I got this spec. As you know, quality control can make the spec vary. A few grams here and there, and a few balan balance points here and there, and... Uh, you might get a racket that is a little bit too difficult to use or a little bit too light that you need to customize. So I was lucky that I didn't need to add any weight or anything. It played great in stock form. I added an overgrip though, made it 337 grams and 31.8 balance. So spec is spot on for my game when it comes to the Pro Staff 97. The RF97 autograph, another story there, strung it up with Luxton Olive Power 1.30 at 54 pounds or 24.5 kilos added an overgrip what I got was uh, the standard 97 square inches 1619 string pattern and 21.5 millimeter beam so those are the same for these two rackets but this one strong weight was 365 grams so that's a massive weight to swing uh, Roger plays with 366 from what I've seen so this is pretty much uh, a racket that should have been sent to Roger and not me uh, 31.5 centimeter balance which is at around 9 points head light and 341.5 swing weight so this racket is pretty much spot on the listed specs and if you like a Roger spec this is as close as you can get to his actual racket um, felt uh, very good but difficult to swing pretty heavy specs uh, I would uh, you have to really bring your A game to even try to play well with this racket as you know uh, that's why I prefer the Pro Staff 97 version 13 this time around. I felt like that did it was easier to use and better for my game. Uh, so when I started this playtest, I had no idea about any possible tech or spec changes. It looked and felt the same uh, when I held it, and I did like the previous version, but it wasn't spot on for me. Uh, but after a couple of hours when the string bed lost a little bit of tension, I felt I had a much better connection to the ball with this frame. Uh, I really started to shine then, I got nice pocketing, excellent control, power when I needed it. That unpredictable string bed I felt with the previous editions of this racket was gone, uh, so I felt completely in command. Uh, still, uh, it's not an easy racket to use this, the sweet spot is pretty small by today's standard. Uh, you need to have good technique and footwork to swing this racket effectively. Uh, advanced level players, however, will really appreciate this update. I think they, they will like that they haven't done a whole lot to it, but the changes they've made have made an impact on how the racket plays uh, for the better. Uh, and also the improved comfort is definitely a good thing, and that they didn't let add any weird dampening tech that takes out too much of the feedback from the frame. That's a common mistake that the racket manufacturers do. They they add some kind of dampening and then suddenly you can't really feel the ball and then it becomes very difficult to play your best tennis. But this one you feel 100% connected to. Uh, I actually felt so confident with this frame. I took it into... I was playing an open level tournament and I felt so good when I was practicing with this frame that I took it into the match play uh, after only having used it for a few hours. So this racket, the Pro Staff 97 V13 uh, goes on my MRR list and this that means match ready racket list a list I just made up uh, that includes rackets that I trust 100% and I could easily play a tournament with I have a couple of rackets on that list and I don't use a racket you know the same racket all the time I, I with all the reviewing I do and all the testing I do with strings and rackets and whatnot I need to be a bit flexible with what racket I can use and I have played so many different rackets over the years that I feel like I can play as good with one racket and with having like a few different rackets in the back to be honest. So I have an MRR list, match ready racket list that I use. Uh, so uh, this one goes on that which is, which is high praise for this frame. If we look to the Pro Staff RF97 version 13, as you know they didn't do any spec changes here. It's just for players who love the stability, plow through and control that this racket provides. Obviously I feel like the other racket is lighter as a swing, so I get more control with that one. This is quite heavy, so if you don't contact the ball and time it well, this racket will feel more powerful of course. It's, it's more difficult to swing. You know, I love it as, as many do one days when I'm moving and playing well, but it's far too demanding and punishing for my game to use on a daily basis. If you're an advanced level player uh, that have great strokes, great footwork, I think this racket is definitely worth a demo. 
uh, but it's a very difficult racket to use for anyone else. So, um, and if you have already an RF-97 or two, it, there's been a lot of different paint jobs of this one. I've had three, four, five different ones over the years or more, and uh, there's no nothing new here, so no real reason to buy this unless you love the cosmetics. Uh, so that's good to keep in mind that it's the same as the old black one or the labor cup one or um, you know the previous versions uh, so this is definitely for a player of rogers qualities and uh, not for me that's what that's what i would say but i love the pro staff 97 the lighter 315 gram one really really great racket felt like they did just about the right update with that one sadly i did not get a demo of the wilson pro staff 97 light version uh, I would assume that the Braid 45 construction and string mapping tech actually helps that racket as well. Uh, I have tried that one previously and uh, it's not a bad racket, but I didn't get a demo of the new one, so I can't really talk about it too much. Uh, but to summarize this review of the Pro Staff 97s, the two um, new Pro Staffs with the version 13 tech uh, in one of them, uh, I really think that this is a good update. Uh, the RF 97 is not much of an update, to be honest. It would have been a bit interesting to see what would have happened if they added the tech of this one into the RF-97. Uh, but they, I guess they want to keep it the way Roger likes it, so that people who buy this actually get the Roger feel and the spec that he, he has. Uh, it's maybe more for putting it on the wall than for actually using it in your tennis matches. Uh, but the other one, the Pro Staff 97, it, they did a great job. I uh, really think it's uh, as good as it can be right now. Definitely not an easy racket to use, you need to be an advanced level player, otherwise there are other frames for you out there. But what they've done, I really enjoy it. I think they could have gone a little bit further with the design tweaks, in my opinion. Uh, and I think some of you will be bored with the old black, but um, in terms of playability, in terms of feel and control, this one is a top-notch frame. So it goes on my MRR list and I'm really happy with it. Uh, I hope you like this bracket review. If you do, please click like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I try to get to all of the questions I get there, but I might have to do a separate video for that because they're, they're you know increasing in numbers and my time is pretty limited. So I'm doing my best as a one-man band. Um, but please put your comments there if you have any. If you need help choosing a racket, check out the racket consultation service on tennisner.net. And if you want more content like this ahead of everyone else, you become a patron at patreon.com slash tennisnerd. It's only two bucks. You support Tennis Nerd and you get loads of fr uh, content every week. That's about it for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.